inside of the boxes. Something's wrong with me. So we trying to get our Christmas tree out of this closet. Well, Christmas tree and Christmas decor. And we got boxes on top of boxes. All of which are trash. I'm a box collector. The box for our soundbar and what is it? So what for that? We do use it, so we don't need the box. The thing is, can I greet the people? I just want to greet the people first. Hey y'all, how y'all doing? Hope your day is going well. It is finally time. Um, we said we we're gonna put up the Christmas tree four days ago. Never really got around to it, but we're getting around to it today. So, like I said, we gotta get all of our things out of the closet, and we're gonna put our Christmas tree up. What's wrong? Tired. Stayed up playing Monopoly. I had to whoop y'all yeah. last night. We stayed up to like 3 o'clock in the morning yesterday, which for me is rare. Well, most of the time, this is what happened. I'll go to bed and then I'll wake up and then I'll be up for a couple hours and I'll go back to sleep. Yesterday, I was up consistently and I had a 9 o'clock appointment this morning and I woke up at 9.40. Luckily, thankfully, it was one of my... Um, regular she's been with me for a while i never flake on appointments so she was just like i hope everything is okay i was just praying that you were all right i was like yeah i'm all right i was in my bed i was asleep so i got her rescheduled huh she was like this never she does she said she was like this don't ever happen so i just wanted to make sure you was okay i'm not mad or anything but i was more upset about it because it's her birthday appointment and i know how people are about their birthdays we have been now. Talking about, <laughs> shut up. We have been talking about this set of nails that I was going to do for her for like a month. And then we finalized the design a couple days ago. So today is Saturday. She's going to come Monday, even though I'm not open. I told her, whatever you need, whenever you need, I got you. So that happened. And now we are putting up our Christmas tree. So once we get all this stuff out of the closet, we'll... Catch you guys in a second. this tree was very easy to put together i didn't even need to read the instructions it comes in three pieces plus the base you put piece c into the base and then you stack piece a and b each of them are labeled snap them together so that the lights can all flow and you pretty much got it like it was very self-explanatory very easy and very simple so yeah, it's pretty full, and we only got the first two. I think we might be on some for fifty dollars.
So there was one spot in the middle of the tree in the front that looked kind of bare that we couldn't spread the branches out far enough to. So I just cooked some pieces of the garland that I bought from Dollar Tree and kind of twist tied them together. Bruce is explaining to me that I had them on backwards and I couldn't tell. So he was just showing me, you know, what he was seeing and how I did indeed have them on backwards. So I just stuck those in the middle, twisted them together, spread them out, and it filled in that extra space. So as you can see, this is the tree all lit up. There is a button at the bottom of the cord that you can actually press to change the settings. There are three settings. One where there's white lights, the other is multicolored lights, and then the third setting is a flash between the multicolor and the white light. All right, y'all, so this is our little junkie system of stuff. Usually I do like teal, navy blue, gold, and white. This year, like I told y'all, I'm doing black and white. So right now, I'm just fishing through our bag of ornaments and picking out all of, like we have some black ornaments. So I'm separating them so that I can add them to what I bought and showed you guys in the haul video, which I'll link at the top of this video if you haven't seen it. So yeah, I'm just fishing through um this bag of ornaments and then i'm gonna finish decorating the tree so as i jam out to that's what christmas means to me i open this box and i discover that my ornaments don't have hooks so you see me shaking the box trying to figure out where the hooks are. Obviously, they were not included, which I didn't know, didn't even read. Luckily, there was a bag full of ornaments that I just showed y'all that didn't have, um, that I wasn't going to use. So I just took the hooks off of some of those and then put it on all of the um, ones that I had just purchased. So I was toying with the idea of only doing black and white on the tree. However, my star is gold. And as y'all probably can tell by now from my decorate with me videos and my house um, decorating videos, I lean more towards the gold than the silver spectrum. Bruce's mom was suggesting silver, which I think would also look good. But since my star was gold and I already had gold ornaments, I just went ahead and did the black, white, and gold the same way I'm going to do for the tablescape. And here's just a video of all of the um, bulb ornaments in place. I'm just trying to see how it's going to look if I add touches of gold to it. <laughs> some of my favorite ornamental pieces i almost forgot about them actually if you guys don't know we are a musical couple bruce plays the piano he used to play the saxophone he also plays the drums and i sing so music is very much ingrained in our relationship and in our lives and if it wasn't for music for real, for real we never would have met because bruce came to virginia to be in his college band so i had to make sure that i got my um little music notes and i go letters for b and b on our tree this year like i said i almost forgot but 
I'm glad I added those. And then I had some little um, icicle looking ornaments, some white glitter icicle ornaments. And I also added those to the tree for a final touch. So if you can hear Bruce in the background and his voiceover, I do apologize. He's in his office with the door closed on the game with his friends living his best life. So, I mean... It is what it is, but again, I apologize. Y'all, this was the most difficult part of putting this tree up. So, there's a long stem piece in the middle, as usual, that comes on trees. I usually fold that piece over and then put the cone of the star around it. However, our star is a little... Um, quality it's of great quality again this tree was only $50 the star itself was probably like 30 so there's a bulb in the middle of the star and it's kind of heavy so it took us a while to situate it so that it fits on the tree it's actually leaning back a little bit but it's whatever and also um one thing about this tree is it does not have traditional plugs. So there aren't plugs that are connecting each piece for the lights. So we had to plug the star directly into the wall. Thank goodness the cord was long enough. Married woman. Now about to watch her cheat on her husband with an angel. The pastor. He was a pastor at that. So. All right, y'all. So, update. Right now, I'm eating me some ice cream and a cookie. Taking a break from the tree. Never mind. This is our uh, stand for our camera. But, yeah. I like it so far. It's looking a little, you know, lackluster to me. Tomorrow, I'm going to get some ribbon and some flowers to put in that match our color scheme. Um, right now, we, Bruce is, not we, Bruce is taking out some of the, uh, the many, 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 many boxes. That <laughs> the many boxes that came out of that closet. Um, and then I'm going to put up our garland and the other stuff that we usually put up. apartment we don't have a mantle so I basically use our TV stand as a faux mantle so I just push my TV back and push my soundbar back a little bit and then I add some garland that I got about two years ago from Joanne's um, fabric I did some Christmas shopping post Christmas and got a lot of deals and I think if i can remember i think i got both of these garland pieces for ten dollars a piece um it doesn't quite go with my black and white color scheme but i love it so i just decided to keep it so one way i'm gonna further dress up my garland is to add some of my white bulb ornaments that i didn't use on the tree 
and then I'm also going to add some of like the bottle brush tree figurines that I got from Target they were a dollar a piece and I got them a couple years ago but now you can pretty much find them in any store um I also am going to add a string light to my garland to make it a little bit more festive I got this light from Dollar Tree I stumbled upon it a couple years back it's a battery operated light you set it one time and it comes on every I think 12 hours so I usually turn it on at 7 o'clock the first day and it'll go off at like 1 in the morning and then the next day it comes back on again at 7 p.m. so it's on a timer it was a very good find and I don't know if they still have it this year but if you can get your hands on it I would buy more than one All right, y'all, so we are finished for the night and it looks pretty nice in here. I'm gonna flip y'all around so y'all can see what's going on. Right now, this is the tree. That's the man. That's our little makeshift man so that we do. And then I put my little poinsettia over here so yeah we're about to call it a night thank you guys for watching don't forget to like comment and subscribe day four of vlogmas is done and we'll see y'all tomorrow say bye to the people babe bye.